Welcome back everyone. This will be the third vlog. We will continue our restoration. We have completed the roof. We're going to work our way down the pillars, take care of the hood. Then the worst of the oxidation is gone. Uh, all the panels directly facing up towards the, the sun will be restored and the fenders and the rest of the side going through to the back of the car will go quickly and we'll get this restoration completed. So let's get started. We have plastic trim to protect. We have some rubber seals to protect. So we'll do that first. And as you can see here, we have the same oxidation on the lip for the drainage of the roof here and also on the A-pillar. We're going to attack that a little bit differently than the roof and what we're going to do for the hood. We're just going to go after that with a 2-inch polisher and a microfiber pad, and we'll use CarPro ClearCut. CarPro is an excellent choice if you're looking for uh, a medium cut, something that's not quite as aggressive as some of the top compounds in our cutting compound series. This is exactly what I'm going to use on these areas to save as much finish as possible as they're just naturally thin coming from factory. And as you can see, that combination was absolutely perfect. One pass and the ridge here or the lip and also the A pillar is cut, ready to be polished and we can move on. I went ahead and cut the other side as well as we're working from top to bottom. Okay, now we're ready to take on the hood. And let's start by taping off those windshield washer nozzles. Like I said, this is a restoration where we're not gonna remove everything. We're gonna do what we can with everything in place. And I wanna show you how I'm taping here, because every panel I'm gonna tape like this with a little, uh, a little bit of the corner and the edge of the panel covered, uh, especially when we're wet sanding. And then I'll move that back to the edge when it's time to polish. We don't wanna, sand through one of the corners or one of the edges on these panels and we could use uh, a power or a pneumatic sander but we're not going to do that here i want to show you we can do it by hand we're going to use a trizac uh, sheet instead of a disc and my favorite block for large panels either a roof a large trunk or a large hood simply fold the trizac sheet up around the block and you snap the top half of the block on, it locks it in place and you are ready to go. This thing absolutely fits my hands perfectly. My hands are beat to heck and it's real hard to hold something as small as uh, some of the red sticks that are out now that are really great and if you can handle them, I really advise you to look into them. Uh, I'll put a link down below for them, but this works for me. The block has some weight to it. My, the strokes on this pass here are going to be long and they're going to be straight. I wanted to bring you in close to see every single pass we're shaving a decent amount of oxidation off the surface of this paint.
We're gently hugging the edges and also hugging the contours of the body, the body lines and character lines. Once again, one of my favorite ways to wet sand by hand using one of my favorite blocks. You get in tune with the shape of the car, with the body lines, and you can really just finesse the moment a little bit more if that makes sense. And as you can see here, hugging but not going over the high spots or the high points in the body lines. And after this point, after a single pass, there's a lot of oxidation to be washed off the panel. So we could take a look at it, see if it needs a second pass. I am going to step down to 5,000 grit because of the amount of damage on the hood. The hood happened to be the worst part of the whole car. So that's going to take two passes with two different grits before we step down to a polish. Again, if you're working on... Single stage, have a second set of clothes or wear an apron, wear gloves, a respirator, have some old towels and rags laying around because they will get thrown away. After a quick rinse, I'm going to get a mild IP solution and clean the hood off so I can get a good look at it before I move on. One thing I want to do is grab my foam block, which will conform to some of the shape of, of the hood that I really had a hard time with a larger block, and get the edges. As you can see here, this bends and will conform to the lip up towards the windshield there, and I'll be able to sand that much easier. Before we move on, I do want to bring you guys in close so you get a good look at what it looks like at this stage. The oxidation is removed. What we have left are the sanding marks from the 3000 grit. I am going to switch to the 5000 grit and shave a little bit of this single stage off while removing those sand marks. And we're going to swap that out right now. I have been putting links down below for the Trizac discs. I will include the Trizac sheet here. I've been getting questions as to how I find 2-inch discs for the 2-inch polisher. And I quite simply either buy an extra sheet or some extra discs, trace the backing plate, and cut it to fit. And I have a retrofitted disc for the little polishers. I want to bring you in close before I move on so you guys can see what's going on. This is what it looks like after 5,000 grit. So I'm going to break out the Sonax Cutmax once again, the long throw polisher and Lake Country microfiber cutting pad. We're just going to do a little corner. I'm going to show you one pass uh, crisscross pattern. Uh, since we have it cut all the way down to 5000 grit, it's going to be a piece of cake to get this cut. And uh, we're, going to, we're going to get this hood finished up rather quickly from here. And as you have seen from the Cutting Compound series, the residue wipes off quickly. It has a great cut to it, and it actually finishes down pretty darn far. It has very little dusting, uh, less dusting than any compound I've ever worked with. And you can see the results right here.
Okay, so I went ahead, I finished the hood. So we have the roof, we have the pillars, we have the hood. They're all cut. Keep in mind, they still have to be polished. We have two more steps to bring out the best clarity, best gloss, best shine before we put a nice ceramic coating on top. Once again, although looking good, not perfect, there's a couple nicks, uh, rock chip here and there, maybe a deep gouge, but all in all, a huge, uh, huge turnaround. Okay, so we took care of the roof, we took care of the pillars, the hood, everything facing directly up towards the sun that was taking a beating from uh, UV, all taken care of. So now... Everything's going to go a lot quicker running back through the side of the car towards the rear. Um, a lot less oxidation on the side of the vehicle, a lot less wet sanding, a lot less polishing, and we're really going to start to fly along. If you have any questions as to what we did today, don't hesitate down in the comments section. I'll catch you in the next video.